Get ready for technology to be smaller, faster, curvier, invisibler, and more awesome than ever before thanks to a single wonder material. Hey everybody, Trace here for DNews. Technology nuts have been drooling over graphene since its discovery in 2004, and the number of things this so-called wonder material can do is growing really fast. If you're not familiar, graphene is a transparent two-dimensional sheet of carbon atoms. It's the strongest material known to man and could be used to make better batteries, medical scanners, bulletproof vests, spacecrafts, planes, trains, automobiles, computers, transistors, nanomaterials, medical sensors, DNA sequencers, so many things. Graphene is poised to revolutionize pretty much everything. You know when you blow up a balloon and over the next few days it slowly loses air? That's because rubber is semi-permeable, it gets all shriveled and gross. A lot of things are semi-permeable. Air molecules can move through plastic bottles, which is why beer is still in glass. But graphene is here to make everything better. Using graphene, researchers at Rice University made airtight bottles by layering it like paper mache. By adding only a few atoms of thickness, it becomes impossible for air to escape or enter. Similar processes protect metals from rusting. So foods, drinks, fuels, submarines, cars, boats, spacecrafts, anything needing protection from air loss could be made better thanks to graphene. And that's child's play for this stuff. This month, scientists at Florida International University found graphene can become naturally magnetic on the atomic level by manipulating the spinning electrons of carbon atoms of graphene. Scientists turned it into a one atom thick magnet. Data storage, anyone? Only a few weeks ago, scientists created the cleanest graphene ever by sandwiching graphene between two layers of one atom thick boron nitride. Normally, scientists contaminate the graphene with their sticky tools to manipulate it around, but now we have cleared yet another hurdle on the way to graphene computer chips. Super fast, super small computers, anybody? Check. In another study published in Nature Communications, researchers are slowly improving the ability of graphene to interface with the human body directly. By grafting graphene onto cells, researchers can sense functions and maybe someday our health directly with nanobots and graphene sensors. Experts think we might have real bio applications by like 2030. But that's not all. Now it's time for the cool bomb. If you combine all these technologies, there may be a time in the conceivable future where flexible computer clothing gathers energy from our heartbeats and muscle movements, sensors monitor ourselves and even our DNA directly while a synthetic retina transparently, layered over our own, feeds information to us. Not to mention functions we haven't even thought of yet. The problem with graphene, though, has been the difficulty to manufacture it. For example, in computing, it's cheaper to make two powerful silicon chips than to even make a single tiny strip of graphene. It's an amazing material to use, but a really difficult one to produce reliably. So if you're interested in being a materials engineer, get your degree and find a way to make us more graphene, please. Do technological advancements like this make you worry that we're destined to like become the Borg? Tell us down below in the comments and subscribe for more D News.